Welcome back. PGA Tour 2K23. My career. Ragnar Lothbrok, episode 24. All right. Uh, sec third major of the year. We won the last one. Played unbelievably horrible last time out. I mean, the worst we've had in the entire series. 155th. That had to have been just dead last. Lost all our sponsors. We'll look stream if you ask me. i coming off a major win, but uh, we'll get him back here because we're going to play well. UK Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Northwest Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Rich, how do you see this one shaking out? Lydia Ko won their last matchup, so I expect some spirited competition today to well, say the least. Right. Well, it will be interesting to keep an eye on this one right throughout this event. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Ouch, huh. that hurts. Oh, a nine foot chance here. This is what they have left for a par. Ooh. Mm. It's all right. Well, we can, we can bounce back from this. Sitting at one over for the day. Here we are at the second tee. Tee shot is looking good here. And he's down there. Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Look at that shot. What a skillful there we go. Shot. This player not holding back in their rivalry with Lydia Ko. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Well, what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hold. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Teeing off here at the third hole. Opting for the five iron. Stay up. Nope. Couldn't quite stay on that shot. No quality shot that. Outside chance for Birdie here, Luke. They're yeah, a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. All right, guys. This for two birdies mm. in a row. I thought that would. This putt just five feet away from the hole. For the that would break a little bit. So no movement on the leaderboard, remaining at even overall. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. That one's heading down Broadway. Into the Second wind, too. Here on the fourth. We're going to up this a little bit. They get a little ground draw there here. There we go. I tried to, I wanted a little more club and then took some off. Probably could just kept the same club I had. But that, that yeah, lesser effort, that one. intensity is green, actually what I was going for, but I thought it would cut a little more to the left. This putt for a spot in the top five. Mm. Oh, that's too bad. Putting for a par here. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we're checking in with Lexi Thompson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 10th. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. You've arrived at a par four. Oh. 
That's an awful mm. error. It's okay. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Good opportunity here to move into a tie for third. Oh, hmm. gee, that line was Boy, I thought good, I touched it. it. Uh, how frustrating. Maybe you can chip it back close and limit the damage. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. That one goes down nope. for Bogey. Currently at plus one for the day. And moving down the leaderboard as well. We have a par five at this one. Not quite sure about the strike on that one. This could be heading towards the rough. Four victories so far this season. All right, Wind, you better help me. Sometimes you hit some good <laughs> ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Mm. We're not going to do back-to-back -back major major championships. She's currently though. ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. Too hard. Too hard. What were you doing? Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Just a four-footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Now three strokes back after that hole. I mean, place wise, we're actually not bad. We're still in this. Here. Going with a three wood here. That still ended up to the right of the, the pin. It's just inside the range. It's crazy how and far I started that. To, move into the top 20. to the left. Oh, oh, come that's on. That's a lovely speed on that part. So close to the hole. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She's currently in first place, looking to hold that lead here. And now we can take a look at how that wonderful play affects the leaderboard. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. We have a par four on this one. Could not be more perfect. Second shot here on the eighth. I'll take it. Getting ready to play their third. Just three back from the leader. Hmm. Not good. And he needs this to save par. It was on a good line. You finished your work on that hole. <sighs> the next one. Moving down the leaderboard after that hole. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. That tee shot looks pretty good. This shot from 120 yards. Went straight down. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Wow. But not a bad approach. That took some off of green. that. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Would need something special to happen to get the birdie here. Okay, time to return to the action. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Yeah, a bit long on that one. An opportunity to make their par. They're nicely hold. There we go. And all of them are chasing Tiger once again as we move to the next. Here we go. The tenth hole. Clear the bunker. Or get in the bunker. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. And Rich, we talked about so much and we heard so many of them throughout the years. A Tiger roar 
just sounded different to any other roar on the golf course. Explain just the energy of that and what you endured. Well, the Tiger Roar is usually involved about 35,000 folks, and the, any other roar was about 3,500. Um, so that was already a massive difference. You just knew it. There's just an energy in the air. When you heard a roar go up, you immediately could tell Got whether it. it was Tiger or it was somebody needed else. Needed it. I needed that. And it all kind of depends on how you were affected by it. And I think that where a lot of players got into into trouble was listening for the roars and re listening what kind of roar it was. And when they let it into their head that it was a tiger roar, then I need to do something better. I need to change it up real quick. And in fact, that's probably what hurt them more than anything else. But listen, when Tiger did something fantastic, everybody on the golf course knew it was him. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Now just one over par. Not a bad spot on the leaderboard. Just outside the top 20. Opting for the 9-iron. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Plays it too That's much. A good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Watch that one hole where I... Birdies today. This for another... Too hard. Yeah. That one hole where I took it Didn't really far to the left and slid it up one. to the right. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look it's over this a bogey. one. Yep. Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Trailing by five my shots putting is just, I don't know. My putting is very hot and cold. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. That's definitely left. What the, the crap? Game. What? And now intrepid on course reporter John standing by. Hey guys, we are checking in here with Lexi Thompson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 18th. Let's return to live play now. This would be a great up and down from this spot. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Good putters will make these. Not on five feet. Down it goes, but that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Time to lift. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. Looks like Very disappointing that shine. One. That should find the short stuff. This shot here near the 200-yard marker. Next shot, straight back into the teeth of the wind. Opting for the five-wood. Uh, this player's there dialed go. in. What a shot. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Got it. Oh, how about that one? Why don't we catch up with what Lydia Ko's up to? Oh, she's taken the lead in this rivalry, but can she hold on to it? So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Now on the tee of a long par four. But there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. This one looks to be heading for Good the drive. sanctuary of the fairway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Wind starting to get up, but it's helping, which is nice. He's had a disagreement with the caddy. He's gone down a club. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Looking really good. I made it. I made it. I made it. There we go. There we go. I don't know if we're going to beat our rival, but we're going to definitely right hopefully place better. Currently at plus one Since she's the leading the tournament. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Going with the 9-9, nine -nine, I think. This looks to be heading to the green. Good shot. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. Ooh, oh, God. An opportunity to make a par here. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Pathetic. Next up is this two-shot hole. Pathetic. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. 
absolutely tattooed that drive. Time for the second shot at the 16th. Well, why did it... Uh, That's a bit out of shape. Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Oh, probably because it went to a regular shot instead of a flop shot. I bet you that's what happened. Time now for the fourth Guarantee shot. you that's what happened. Five shots off the pace. Costly mistake. Ooh, that almost went down. Six feet remaining to the cup. Some damage limitation. This one for a bogey. Costly mistake to learn that whenever we switch now those clubs, we might have to change to the Co. change it from a regular to a flop. And let's see what that super shot did to the leaderboard. Trailing by six. Would that put me back down hole. into like the 30s, probably? Yeah, 37. Well, here we go, Rich. We're at the penultimate hole, the 17th. Looks like they've got the five wood. This would be a great up and down. Ooh, oh, come on, man. In. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong. It'll be bad again. Tiger Woods back in his familiar spot, currently in the lead as we head to the next tee. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Time for the second shot on the 18th. And here we are with the third shot. Played that about as well as you can, I think. Could have been a little higher up on the hill, but no harm, no I'll foul there with that shot. Let's take another look at Tiger from earlier. Well, this is a fair reason why our leader is where he is on the leaderboard. Okay, let's get back to the action. This putt is for a score of 72. Got it. And that brings two that big. today's round. Probably got me back in the 30s, hopefully. Well, Rich, I think it's fair to say that this player struggled with their game this week. Not what the player was hoping for at week's end. Hopefully they can find some positives. To 37, take yeah, who won? Tiger with the win. Elvie, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. He might be, he may have caught me in the FedEx Cup. Close, 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 close. Well, better than last timeout, but still not anywhere near how you want to play, especially in a major. But um, try to get it back here at uh, Travelers. So come on back and we'll pick up here.